Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. I'm going to get started because I'm so excited. My first guest is Roger Wakefield. He's the host of The Expert Plumber on YouTube. You've seen him. I know you have. Roger, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Valder, thank you for having me here. It's such an honor. Well, I think everyone needs and knows what a plumber is, Roger. But tell me what you do before we get into what happens when we flush. What do you do? I'm actually a plumber right here in the Dallas area. I'm up in Richardson, Texas. And I teach people on YouTube how to fix their own plumbing. And I teach plumbers how to learn things to make them better plumbers. That's pretty big job. Okay, let's talk about what everybody knows. Your toilet. So what happens when it flush? What when it goes through the pipes? Uh, and we do what, what's going on? Well, first of all, whether you flush or turn on a sink, that water and the waste in it goes down your drains into your sewer pipe under your house. Then it goes out to the city sewer system where it's transported all the way to the wastewater tr- treatment plant where it's filtered, it's cleaned, it's purified, and it's sent right back to us as potable water. The same water we flush comes back as water? Eventually, yes, ma'am, it does. Okay, and we drink that water, wash with that water, shower with that water, the same water? That, that, that is exactly true, Valder, and that's why to me it's so important that we make sure that anything we put down our drains, we want to make sure that it's not anything that's going to damage that system and that infrastructure. If we put products down the drains that aren't made to go down the drains, say baby wipes, hard surface wipes, anything like that, they have a plastic binding fiber in them that can actually clog up our home sewers or our city sewer lines, and it delays the process. It creates problems that maybe we don't want. That's why we always recommend our customers the Cottonelle Flushable Wipes because they use a 100% biodegradable fiber to help hold it together, and that makes it break down immediately upon flushing, upon entering the water. Okay, you told us some things don't, but what you sh- what should we not be flushing? Because I'm thinking, you know, people are using Drano and other types of chemicals and stuff, so what should not go down the drain or the toilet? Well, down the drain and toilet, either one, you never want to put any chemicals like that. You'd never want to put medications down there. Medications are something that get caught in our water system, and that's really not good, not just for the water treatment plant, but for the the places where the water ends up, maybe in a creek or something. So what I tell people is, number one, never put any chemicals in the drain at all. But also baby wipes, hard surface wipes, female products, paper towels, anything that does not say flushable on the package, you definitely need to make sure you don't put in the system. It can stop up your toilet, it could clog up your sewer, and it definitely leads to problems at the wastewater treatment plants. Today I'm speaking with Master Plumber Roger Wakefield. You guys know I will talk to anyone who can change our life. And this is changing my life, uh, Roger, listening to you saying, don't do these things. And I don't do them. I'm not trying to be goody goody, but I don't do them. But because just because it'll back up, that's really why I don't do it. But uh, um, we have not really heard this before in, in a lot of our homes. Well, Valder, th- think about this. Plumbers walk in people's homes every day. And a lot of plumbers will walk in and they'll see baby wipes or something like that on the back of the toilet. To me, those plumbers should be recommending a better product. So, look, whenever we go to the restroom, we want to feel clean and fresh when we walk away. So if you, as a plumber, walk in and see something like that, why not recommend a better product to them? 
like I said, the Cottonelle flushable wipes, they're tested. They're tested by plumbers. They've actually been tested by the Charleston Water Services Department and are now the only wipe that's being allowed to use or being recommended by Charleston, South Carolina. So if us as plumbers walk in the house and see somebody's using something that can cause them problems, why not recommend a better product to them so they don't stop up their sewer or cause problems for the city? Okay, Roger, you got a popular YouTube channel. I love it that you're out of the Dallas area. How do we get to you? Because sounds like a lot of us need a little more education. Well, just to find me, you can just go to YouTube and search plumbing or Roger Wakefield. But to learn more about what's flushable, go to cottonelle.com slash flushability. And you can also search at Cottonelle on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Roger, I'm so glad you and Cottonelle are doing this because information is power and you're you've given us some information and i hope people adhere to what you've taken the time to tell us please come back on the valder bb show you know i'm in dallas too now valder i would love to i'm here in richardson so it'd be an honor to come see you thank you so very much thanks for being my guest thanks to roger wakefield he's a master plumber he gave us some great information or his other name is the expert plumber Find him on YouTube. Thanks, Roger. Valder, thank you so much. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.